This is the chapter on vitamins. So at the end of this chapter, you need to know um, a few things. One is to classify vitamins into fat-soluble and water-soluble. You need to explain the functions of the fat-soluble and water-soluble vitamins in your body. So you need to, and then you need to list the main sources of um, the vitamins. So which foods can you eat to get these vitamins? And then you need to describe the diseases and symptoms of not having enough of each vitamin and also describe the disease and symptoms of having too much of each vitamin. Okay, so what are the functions of vitamins? Vitamins are required in small amounts um, and they play a very vital role in helping you to uh, stay healthy. So the general functions are to promote good health and normal growth of your body. You also need them to protect you from diseases. So for example, you know, you need to take vitamin C to keep you from getting a cold. You also need them to help regulate chemical processes in your body. Uh, vitamins also work with proteins to regulate the building and repair of your body cells. And lastly, they are also important in, your, in the enzyme systems of your body. So for example, um, in digestion. So you just learn about digestion and vitamins are necessary for that. Okay, so what are the different types of vitamins? Now, the vitamins are classified into two main groups. You have the fat-soluble and the water-soluble vitamins. All that means is that fat-soluble vitamins can dissolve in fat and water-soluble vitamins can dissolve in water. Now, under so fat-soluble, you have four, A, D, E, and K, ADAC. And under water-soluble, you have B group, which is split into these six, B1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 12, and vitamin C. Okay.